World 5, Gladiatores Arenam Part 2. All the gladiators were there and waiting for me as I walked towards the center of the stadium. I saw the Caesar sitting at his high place, in front of all the action and away from the public. He was a middle-aged man with a balding head and a body toned from years of military service, adorned with battle scars. What interested me the most were his eyes. His blue eyes looked wizened with age, but also showed the naivety of a twenty-something man. He spoke in a commanding but soothing voice. My dear countrymen, these gladiators here are going to fight to the death for our entertainment. Some are here of their own volition, and some have been forced, but they share one thing in common, their spirit to fight and win. Let us cheer them on as they show us their valor and skill. The crowd applauded wildly, cheering us and the speech. A heavily armored man approached and split us into pairs for the battle. Looking away from my opponent and taking in the surroundings, I found a totem pole. It looked like a scorecard of sorts, the names of all the people written upon it. I counted fifty-two names exactly. The armored man spoke. There are only a few rules you need to follow. No biting, no hitting below the belt. You may use your powers, but make sure the audience is not bored. He kept talking, but I tuned him out and scanned for plants. I found dead ones around the ring. A horn sounded and most of the gladiators began walking together. I followed. Two were taking battle stances, presumably waiting for a signal to start. The Caesar nodded towards them and sat down. I'll make it short. They fought to the death, and when one of them fell, the one who remained standing looked at the Caesar. He made a thumbs-down gesture, and the guy on his back was decapitated. This went on until I was facing one I recognized. My opponent was the serene old man. Seeing him close unnerved me because of how calm he was. It wasn't fake or plastered upon his face, but true inner peace. He looked at me and nodded. I nodded in response. We walked into the center of the Colosseum and faced the Caesar's viewing box. He nodded and motioned for us to start. I faced the old man and tried to talk to the plants and ordered them to hold him. The plants shot at him and as soon as they touched his wrists, he cut the branches with blinding speed with his long sword. I ran towards him and swung, expecting him to dodge aside and attack my exposed flank, which he did. Since I knew this was coming, I used one of the plants to block that hit. I was surprised by my own quick thinking, but decided that it would be best to think about that later. I used his momentary hesitation to jab at his exposed left side, and I sliced it. He looked flustered and tried to hide his surprise, trying to swing, but I used this to bind him with the plants. I looked to the viewing box after I was sure that he was secure, the audience wildly applauding and cheering for me. He gave me a thumbs down, and I decapitated the old man. There were cheers all around me as I marched back to the stands. There were twenty-six of us left. The Caesar looked at us and smirked, almost as if he was impressed with our performance. He said, These twenty-six people will compete in a free-for-all fight with a time limit of thirty minutes. 
The person left standing is the victor. Let the fight begin. The combatants began a battle royale in the Colosseum. I tried skirting along the walls to avoid them. It seemed to work, as I just watched. None were interested in me. As time went on, it came down to four people. Me, the scrawny kid, the muscular guy, and the guy from my university. The scrawny kid tried to slip out of my vision and stab me in the back, but I was able to block that hit. I sliced and cut a deep gash across his chest. He fell to his knees and bled out. The two left were in a duel, and I decided to use the shadows. I summoned their shadows as well as mine, and <sighs> disposed of them. No need to draw it out further. The muscular guy managed to break free of the shadow and lunged at me. With a few swift moves, he disarmed me. My short sword was a few feet away from me. He leveled his sword at me and said, Nice try, but underhanded tricks won't help you in defeating me. As he was speaking, I threw the marble at his helmet to distract him as I pulled out the dagger from under my shorts. He saw and dodged the marble. He opened his mouth angrily, but by then my dagger was in his heart. In that instant, all the dead bodies disappeared, and the Caesar was in front of me. He placed a medallion on my neck and asked me to state my name. Ronald. He smiled and said, Well, Ronald, I crown you the victor of this gladiatorial match. You may leave. I turned to leave the Colosseum and woke up on my chair on the deck. The hamburger and the drinks were all okay. None were on the ground, nor were they spoiled. Maybe what the book did wasn't all that bad. I looked at my hand and saw a grey orb. The power within it was the ability to summon my gladiatorial outfit at will, with a few more additions, like there being a full set of armor, rather than a pair of shorts and greaves. I put it to my chest and felt its power course through me. I wanted to see it, but decided to check it out later. For now, I'm at peace, away from the battle and just resting. Fellow Harbingers, as someone who has experienced much, I can give you only this advice. Other Harbingers are your enemy. Never trust them. Never befriend them. Either they betray you, or you betray them.